So welcome back everyone, Mike here. Today I would like to show you our brand new Ford Bronco. But I can't because I don't have it yet and I don't have any idea when it's coming. I had to uh, take a few notes here for today's video. Normally I don't have to do that, but there's just way too much information here for me to try to remember. Now before we get started, I'll kind of bring you up to speed. We reserved a new Ford Bronco a little over a year ago, and we still don't have it yet, but it's not the end of the world. It's nothing that we're going to get all worked up about. This isn't going to be some rant directed at Ford or anything like that. We understand there's people with real struggles and real problems, and this is really not a big deal. However, we would like to share our opinions and experiences from the time we reserved it up until today. Secondly, I'd like to say I'm by no means telling Ford Motor Company what to do. They've been in business for like 120 years or something. Uh, so I think they have a pretty good idea how to run a car company. And we've been very loyal Ford customers. I've had several F-150s. I had an F-350. We had Explorer, Expedition. And my favorite of all, I think, was the Excursion we had. We bought it used, uh, but it had the 7.3 Power Stroke. It was a great truck. I sold that with 230,000 miles on it, and it was just getting broke in. So that's that. So this story of the Bronco, it actually starts, uh, at least for us, way back in early 2014. And back then I posted this picture on our Facebook page. And along with that picture, I made the comment something along the lines of, uh, it would be great if Ford would bring back the Bronco and it would be great competition for the Wrangler. Yeah, and that's what we have uh, on social media record. But Mike's been writing forward about bringing back the Bronco long before social media. Yeah, I, actually, I emailed them for a long time about uh, why don't they bring back the Bronco. But anyway, after that post uh, in uh, 2014, little did I know, about six and a half years later, I'd be sitting at the computer watching the big Ford reveal online for the Bronco. And I have to say, Ford's marketing team did a fantastic job uh, building it all up, all the hype and all that stuff. The design team, I think it's a home run. I think it looks, it's a great looking vehicle. And those are the types of vehicles we want. It gives people a sense of freedom, uh, knowing that you can go off-road even if you don't go off-road. Now we do have some plans for uh, in August actually to do some trail riding. Hopefully we have the Bronco by then if we don't. We'll be taking the Wrangler, but I know... Or we'll get some horses. Or we'll get some horses, even. But uh, a real Bronco, you That's know what right. I mean? But people like Broncos, Jeeps, that type of vehicle. At least we do, and I know thousands and thousands of other people do. But anyway, we watched that reveal, and then Melissa and I talked about it a little bit, and I'm like, let's order one. And the other reason we ordered it, not only do I like the Bronco, and I always have, uh, it will be part of our channel. You know, YouTube is our job. That's what we do. And along with everything that we do here in the property, I thought it would be great to do videos, you know, maybe one every two weeks comparing the Bronco to the Wrangler, you know, taking the doors off the Bronco, taking them off the Wrangler. And it's just something that I think would be a good fit for an outdoor channel. And that's another reason that we we're looking to buy one. So we reserved the Wild Track on the 14th. That was the day after the reveal. And it's a four door Wild Track. Uh, with the Sasquatch package and at this point I think we have a better chance of seeing Sasquatch but I know it'll come eventually but we reserved it on the 14th and I let him reserve because in my mind I was like we didn't even get to see or touch this vehicle are you crazy but I'm like it's a reserve I can always pull a plug yeah it was a hundred bucks reserve. to reserve it and she I I'm think like, go ahead Mike yeah reserve what? too yeah <laughs> so we reserved it on the 14th and at that time I knew we weren't going to see a Bronco anytime soon and then in October, yeah, October 2nd, 2020, I got an email from Ford saying that we could officially order the Bronco in December or January and would be contacted by my dealer. Well, in uh, October, we got an email from the dealer saying that we would be able to order it like the 1st of December, December 7th, I think, is when they were going to open it up to order it. So then I kind of built it online, started looking exactly what we wanted. And then the dealer called and said they weren't quite ready yet. Not the dealer, but Ford wasn't ready yet. Then on November 20th, I got an email. Uh, no, on December 15th, I got an email from Ford saying we couldn't order until mid-January. So that was on January 18th, I got an email from the dealer 
uh, I think it was late in the afternoon, saying that we can officially order the Bronco. And the 19th was your birthday. And that's how you remember that. And so we kind of went through the whole thing. We got one pretty well loaded up. and I Because it's my birthday. It's her birthday. See, what I do, I went from me he wanting it to it. like, it's your birthday, Melissa. And he narrowed it down to two options that he liked, and then he presented them to me. Like, what do you like, Melissa? A or B? Yeah. It's kind of like the eye doctor. Can you see better with these? One or two? But we, Try again. We definitely went back and forth on the colors for a while there and stuff. Yeah. We did. But it'll, yeah. it'll be nice, whatever it is. At this point, right. So that was on January 19th, and then uh, I printed everything out. You know, I built it online exactly the way we wanted. I took it to the dealer, and the order went in officially on January 25th of this year. And, you know, I didn't think much about it. I knew it was going to be a while. And then on April 13th, uh, we went to an event in Pittsburgh. I uh, just had, they had a couple Broncos there, and that was the first that we actually got our eyes on them, and we both really liked them. Uh, kind of confirmed what we were looking at online and other pictures and things, but we were able to walk around, check them out. You couldn't drive them, but uh, we had a nice time down there, and we were pretty well sold and kind of starting to get a little bit excited to get this Bronco. Then on April 23rd, I got another email saying that we have a VIN number and a build date of June 7th. 21 so that was the build date where they were going to start building the bronco then i got another email saying the build date was changed to 621 okay and i knew there'd be delays everybody's having supply issues yeah. all that kind of stuff we had a wedding to yeah plan, we so weren't we were really like, worried about it so it went from six what i say six uh 621 yeah to 621 then we got another email saying that it was changed to 628. I'm like, okay, now I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. Yeah. You know, they keep pushing it back, pushing it back. And they send you like this tracker thing, and you can look and see the status of it. And as far as I can tell, it went into production on June 30th. And it says right on there. <laughs> on Hunter's birthday. A lot of birthdays here. So it went into production on June 30th. And it says right on there, this will take a couple days. And the next thing was like a... It'll say built and then scheduled for delivery. And we have not heard a peep since then. And I, I don't have really any idea what's going on. I have a feeling it has something to do with the roof. Uh, from what I hear, you know, there's a lot of talk on the internet and stuff. They may be having some issues with the roof. And, and I knew there'd be a couple small issues here and there. It's a brand new vehicle. Uh, but I think they had some problems with some delamination or like a honeycomb effect. But I can't get an answer from anybody on what's going on. Like I said, June 30th went into production, said it'd take a couple days. And what is it today? J July, July 22nd. July 22nd. Yeah, and we haven't heard a peep. Our dealer's been trying to get some information. They've got nothing as well. And the one thing that was a little frustrating was a couple weeks ago I called after it was in production for a while. And they said, yeah, it's built. They'll get ready you know, to ship it or whatever. And it was never updated on the tracker, but turns out I don't think it's completed yet. And I think it's probably sitting there somewhere missing either a chip or a roof or something. And I would just like some type of information. I mean, like I said, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. But we're planning a trip. You want to do things. Uh, it would be part of our channel. And we'd just like some kind of answer, really, on, on when we could expect it. And we're still excited about it. And if it was any other vehicle beside this Bronco, we would have just written it off a long time ago and said, nah, we'll, you know, let them get caught up. We'll maybe get, get one in a couple years or something. But uh, this is the one vehicle that we really wanted, and it just seems like it's impossible to get at this point. So I have no idea when it's coming. So for all of those that keep e emailing us and asking us on Facebook, we don't have any idea. We know the same amount as you do. Ford's communication was real good all along until it went into production, yeah, and then it was 30th. radio silence. We haven't heard a peep. But even the dealer and then the 800 number or whatever. Yeah, I called call. called the 800 number. They're like... Typing away. Nothing. <laughs> so okay, Let me check that one more time. So what I decided to do is this. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to say the word Bronco. And Melissa told me today, she said, you're looking kind of scraggly there. Why don't you shave? I said, you know what? I'm not going to shave until the Bronco's sitting here in the driveway. What do you think of that? Okay. So this could be old Greybeard's channel here in a little <laughs> bit. Be. I'm already getting a little scraggly. So that's the plan. I'm not going to bring it up. I'm not going to mention it. Uh, but when you see me clean shaven, we'll have a new Bronco sitting here in the driveway. I think that's... 
I think Hunter should join you. Hunter. Hunter can grow a beard before noon. He can. It's unbelievable. Yeah. 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 But if anyone from Ford has any information, shoot us an email, outdoors at the Morgans at gmail.com. I would even, at my own expense, drive to Michigan if you want to talk about it. Everyone understands, you know, there's issues, there's things. Last year was a nightmare for so many types of businesses. But just let people know what's going on. And uh, like I said, at least that's what we'd like to see. Uh, I don't care what it is. You know what I mean? If you're having problems with the roof or you can't get a chip or if, you know, Half your employees got sick at the 4th of July party from some macaroni salad that sat out too long. Right. We don't care. People just want to know what's going on so they can plan. But uh, but I picture, you know, I've watched quick videos of production lines and, you know, in the vehicle making process. And it's, in my mind, it's similar to like the candy factory. You know, it comes boom. through, you do this, it goes through, you do the next part. So what happens? That comes through and they're like, hmm. Yeah. We're missing a bolt. Okay. Is it like park it over there? Yeah, I think it got. What do we need? Remember that movie Gung Ho? Yeah. With Michael Keaton. Yeah. That was yeah. a great movie about building cars. <sighs> but anyway, we're yeah. rambling. But like I said, I would be, if anyone has any ideas where the Bronco is, shoot us an email outdoors with the Morgans at gmail.com. Or if anybody from Ford would like to discuss, you know, let people know what's going on. Right, I right. would drive to Michigan. I'd love to see the factory and how this is all done. And uh, so hopefully things will start to get back to normal. And uh, that's it. I'm not saying Bronco until I have one sitting right there. Nope, but you're going to see a lot of beard. A lot of beard. A lot of beard. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.